okay friends so starting navigation again this is screen uh, which is there in your presentations uh, which has been given to you on the course portal uh, it is for the resident application of SAP GUI so it's not relevant for us we are accessing web GUI so this is the web GUI this is the slide added by me uh, in the standard course material so the slides that are added by me actually circled with the black so that uh, you can know which are the standard course slides and which are added by me so parts of the screen we have gone through these four parts easy menu title bar menu bar and status bar and there is some information important information on the title bar uh, there is some importance of the status bar which you should be know to demonstrate and uh, this is the easy access menu this is the company logo which is usually a which usually appears uh, on the center sometimes the system fetches the image sometimes it doesn't so when the system doesn't fetches fetches the image you would just see something like uh, for example uh, let me go back so we see something like this this small icon which means that the uh, picture is not correctly uh, actually important so the concept of transaction now this is a very important concept uh, in accounting uh, because most of us are accounting students so in accounting the concept of transaction is that of exchange of economic resources but when it comes to the information systems a transaction is actually denotes uh, transaction denotes uh, something else every action of input process or output in the system is a transaction so either you make an accounting entry or you just uh, do an email from the system or you just change your password or you just uh, run a report whatever you do in the system whether it is an act of input process or output it's known as transaction in sap terminology so this concept of transaction is wider than the concept of transition in accounting and some of the transactions for example entering an accounting document executing payroll displaying data of an employee sending an email updating your name and your user id which we shall do inshallah these all are transaction whatever you do in the system is a transaction in sap context how to access a tra transaction how to do a transaction in sap gui environment uh, note that i am uh, talking about the gui in sap gui environment not the fury environment the web gui environment or just the resident gui environment we can access a transaction through three ways there are three doors three access point for a transaction the first access point is the easy access menu so if we are in the easy access menu and if we know where a transition is we can access the transition through the easy access menu the second way of transition accessing the transaction is through favorites and the third way of accessing a transaction is through transaction codes and let's do one by one so let's move on to uh, sap screen this is my sap screen i want to access a transaction transition means any data of any any uh, act of either input process or output so there are many 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 transactions i have seen an excel file uh, years back almost 10 years back when i started my sap uh, study uh, and it had almost almost 50000 transactions different transactions addresses or codes of 50000 different transactions so let's uh, uh, go to some of the transactions a couple of transactions to see how to access a transaction Okay, friends, so my internet connection was very slow, so it was taking too long. So I just uh, skipped uh, that part of the video. Uh, anyway, so I am here accounting, financial accounting, general ledger docu uh, document, the second folder in the general ledger, and then FB02. So this is one way of accessing a transaction. So what I am doing, actually, I am going to change the document, or if you go to the third one, we are going to display the document. Always displaying is always safer than changing anything so please uh, be mindful don't change anything in the system for the time being don't create any data uh, what you can do is uh, if you have some extra time spare time you can display different things just to get awareness of what the system is all about so i am here display you might not see this fp03 we shall discuss how you can display this fp03 but you might see just display so just double click this uh, and you will be taken to another transaction a transaction and we are here so this is uh, the display document initial screen you can see the title bar says this is the display document transaction <coughs> and here i can uh, provide some data and then display the document so it's not the purpose for the timing so it is one way of accessing a transaction is through the easy access menu so we have accessed this display document transition through the easy access menu i want to exit so i click here and i am back here 
the second way of accessing a transaction uh, is actually through favorites so if i want to access a transaction through favorites because there are hundreds of transactions uh, it's not very user friendly to go to the folder and then folder and then folder and then access a transaction so most frequently used transactions can be added to the favorites so just i select it and then i right click it as soon as i right click it uh, the system will open a context sensitive menu so this is the menu and here it says add to favorites so i just push add to favorites and as soon as i add it to favorites uh, the favorites are over here so you can see fb03 financial accounting general ledger document display the entire menu path the folders names have been copied here and you see these are appearing two times because i have done it one time earlier as well so i have done for a, for, for a second time and i have some other favorites as well but for the timing you might have just one favorite so i have three times i have done it three times i did three times so it's appearing three times so if i want to delete some of them i just right click it again and i will just remove uh, the two extra ones which have been added so i just click delete favorites i hope it won't delete uh, all the favorites okay so the one favorite word is, was removed so i remove the other one as well and now the point is i can access this transaction right from the favorites i don't need to actually go to the entire easy access menu to access this split transaction i can just double click it and access the transaction right from here so let's double click it and you see i am again on the same display document transition so we go back or we can go back through the exit as well if uh, this go back doesn't work we can go back to exit because it's a janu german sometimes this go back works in some of the transactions this go back doesn't work so then we need to go through the exit button so we are again on the main screen so the two ways of accessing a transaction the third way is the easy is through the transition code right for every transaction there is a transaction code for every transaction in the system there is a code in sap gui environment right if we know the code we can just type the code over here this is uh, known as code okay screen or command prompt and we can just uh, command box and we can just type the code here and we will be taken to a transaction i remember the code of this transaction is fb03 so i just type fb03 here and i press enter and let's see what happens i am taken on the same screen right so again i'm in the same screen uh, if you at this point of time if you go here on the uh, on the title bar and you set it to the transaction you click the transition you will always be able to see the transition code over here now now in whatever transition you are the current transition code will be appearing here so this we have seen earlier uh, and at that point of time the transition was janu german for us in the last video but now it is making sense for us so we can set the display to the transition so this checkbox has been selected to the transition so that every time in which, whichever transition we will be it will be shown here again i press exit and go back now the question arises how do we know the transition codes how this fb03 is appearing here whereas it is not appearing there and another question might also how to actually activate this command box because you might not see this command box here so follow me you go to more you go to GUI actions and settings and you go to settings and over here in the interaction design you just check this show ok code field so this is the ok code field which is by default hidden so you just need to check it so just check it and after checking it just press this save and you will be able to see the command box over here so now you can also type uh, maybe some of you will be worrying that uh, I am typing and you don't have the command box. So it has uh, been activated now in, on your screens. Number two, how this FB03 is being uh, displayed here? Again, we need to have some settings. Again, go to more, extras and settings. Now extras and settings. You will see four checkboxes here display favorites at the end of list it does make sense if you want the favorites folder to be moved to the end towards the end rather than top do not display menu only display favorites again makes sense if you want so 
do not display picture so the right hand side picture uh, it's already not displaying so it doesn't make any sense for me and display technical names so this t codes display of t codes is actually the display of technical names so just check this box and then press this ok button this button so you see sometimes there is a save button here sometimes there is a ok button here continue button here that's why i used to say it a jano german there is not a consistent way the sap is designed uh, these things and there, there is a lot of theory behind it why this is not so but i i i take an umbrella term for all of these features as jano german so anyway this is jano german let's press enter so now if you again browse this menu uh, you will be able to see the t codes everywhere whenever there is a transaction within a folder of course there is no t code for a folder but whenever there is a transition for a folder, you will be able to see its T code. So here it is. I have navigated to the document folder again, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger and document. And I see all the T codes, FP02, FP03, FP09, FP03. And there is no sequence as such. Again, there is no logic behind these T codes. You cannot abbreviate the change line item. So the T code abbreviation wise should be CLI. It's not CLI, it's FP09. So remember T codes are very arbitrary. Again, this is Jano German feature. So we need to remember T codes. Of course, we cannot remember thousands or hundreds of T codes, but in a practical environment, one particular employee do work in a very limited number of T codes. So it's very, very easy to remember these T codes. And even if you don't have them saved in favorites, you can just type the T code. So potentially uh, an account receivable clerk would be doing, the uh, account receivable manager will be just dealing in the account receivable report. So maybe a dozen of T codes, which are very easy to remember. So this is the, a enabling of T codes in the easy access menu. We went to extras, uh, more and extras. And in order to uh, prompt the command box here, we need to go to GUI action and settings and web GUI uh, settings over here. Uh, uh, so these are the features which can be enabled. And we can, uh, we just discussed that we can access the transition in three, uh, three modes. Let's move further, uh, continue with the presentation. This is the easy access menu access of transition. This is the favorite access of transition. And this is the, uh, uh, this is something we have already done. So you can see the things in this, uh, in the presentation. I suggest that you, you watch this video more than once. I suggest you to try these features more than once so that the things get consolidated in the mind. Now some questions, some exercises, which transition corresponds to T code FP03? We just saw FP03, so we did it. We remember it's a display document, but what about FP02? Although some of you might remember FP02 was also in the same folder, so we know FP02 is changed, but say I don't know it, what should I do? FS00, another transition is FS00, FS00 is not in this folder, it, it is somewhere else. So let's type FS00 here and press enter. If it is a valid T code, uh, then it, the system will take us to the transition. If it is an invalid T code, then on the status bar, the system will display that this is not a valid T code. So what's the title of this transaction? Edit GL account centrally. So this is the title of this transaction. We are going to editing, we are editing a general ledger account centrally. Let's go back. We are again on the main screen and our next target is another T code, a very, a very different, a very complex T code, S underscore ALR underscore 87012332. Rather than typing, let me copy paste this T code in the command box. So I just paste it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I pressed enter and the system, if this is a valid T code, the system will take us to somewhere. So here we are. This is the statement for customers, vendors, GL accounts. So this is a report. This is a statement for customers, vendors, and GL accounts. It doesn't, um, uh, uh, it is not the purpose to discuss this particular report or particular transaction. We are just learning navigation, how to actually navigate into the system. Let's go back again. So friends, uh, what is the T code of menu path? So again, some exercises. Go to the menu path, accounting, financial accounting, then general ledger, then document, then display. This is the one we were doing, right? So the menu, the T code is FP03, you can see now. Another one, accounting, go to accounting, then financial accounting, then general ledger, then document entry. So these are the folders. Go to the document entry, then enter GL account document. So what is the T code for this one? Let's let's try. So it says accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, then it says document entry, and then it says enter GL account document. So document entry. 
and enter GL account documents. So the T code of this particular transaction is FB50, FB50. By the way, this is the most frequently used transaction for, an, for a financial accounting uh, employee. We will see it later on. But again, uh, at least for the navigation purpose, we are clear that how to find a T code from the menu path, right? Okay, go down. So uh, I stop this video here and in the next video, we shall see a few more features of uh, finding uh, and accessing transactions.